you ever wonder why the great Ostaji Fong Dr. Kwame Nkrumah ever had the name or the title Nkrumah never dies? Ladies and gentlemen, this is something that you are going to look at in this video and if you are willing to know the deep things about why Kwame Nkrumah is being called or hated to be Nkrumah never dies, then stay tuned and let's dive into this interesting video and I know you are going to love it. Kwame Nkrumah was the first president of the Republic of Ghana and he fought so hard in order to defeat the British so that he could gain independence for this noble country. In his effort, he was tried and also defeated by many people. But through his hard work and all that he knew that he has to save Ghana and save the entire continent of Africa, he decided to abolish all these attempts and all these struggles, all these difficulties in order to gain independence for the great nation now called Ghana, which was then called Gold Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, Kwame Nkrumah's name, Nkrumah never dies, had a reason. And these are the reasons why Kwame Nkrumah was called or he to be Nkrumah never dies. Ladies and gentlemen, after Kwame Nkrumah gained independence from the Republic of Ghana, so many attempts were made to assassinate him, but in all, none of them were successful. In this video, we are going to unveil five of these attempts to eliminate Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and this gave him the name Nkrumah Never Dies. Many historical accounts have proven over the years how often of such a folk Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Ghana's first president also courted the disdain of many people, including those very close to him. In all, there were five assassination attempts made on his life, none of which was successful. In this video, we are going to look at all the five times these attempts on the life of Kwame Nkrumah were made and the circumstances that surrounded them. 1. 1956 bomb explosion in Nkrumah's house. A year before, he successfully led Ghana to gain its independence. Kwame Nkrumah faced the first major threat to his life. In early 1956, there was a bomb explosion in his house in Accra, where he was meeting with several government ministers. Reports online say, there were no injury from this explosion. 2. Assassination attempt of 1962 There was also an assassination attempt on Kwame Nkrumah on Ghana's northern frontier near the northern part of the Volta region, now known as the Oti region. On August 2, 1962, a grenade was thrown at him leaving him injured, according to link.springer.com. The grenade attack was orchestrated by leading police officer in collusion with Emmanuel Obechebi Lamte, one of the ringleaders in the plot to kill me, Kwame Nkrumah said. Although Nkrumah escaped that major assassination attempt on his life, Several people lost their lives, including a child. There was a total of 55 injured. 3. 1962 bombing at Nkrumah's residence. The irony of this assassination attempt is that it happened not too long after the previous one and took place when Kwame Nkrumah and some guests met to celebrate his close shave at death. This happened on September 9, 1962. A bomb blast exploded at the official residence of the president in Accra. In that blast, another girl was killed and several people were injured. As stated above, at the time of the attack, Nkrumah's official residence at Flagstaff House 
was filled with close to 2,000 guests who were celebrating Nkrumah's escape from the first assassination attempt in October. The attempt was blamed on a new anti Nkrumah organization, the Kumasi Command. As a result, many militants throughout the country were arrested in order to calm down the growing opposition against Kwame Nkrumah's government, which had rejected multi party rule in favor of one party rule and scientific socialism. Four failed assassination attempt of 1964. This failed assassination attempt happened on January 2nd, 1964, at about 1.15 p.m., as Kwame Nkrumah left his office at the Flagstaff House to return to the Christian Bay Castle for lunch. Nkrumah was walking towards his car outside his office with two security guards, the Gatti, a British trained professional police officer and another who was provided by the president's own party, the Convention People's Party, CPP. Ghanianmuseum.com reported that suddenly a shot rang out. It was eventually found out that a policeman guard at a Flagstaff house who had just been transferred to duty there fired the shot. Identified as Constable Ametewi, he shot at Kwame Nkrumah at close range but was unsuccessful. The assassinate tried several other shots at the president, chasing him down to the kitchen of the Flagstaff house, but he was overpowered by other officers. 5. Kulangugu Assassination Attempt of 1964 The assassination attempt of 1964 is perhaps one of the most famous and perhaps most deadly attack on Kwame Nkrumah's life. At the Independence Day celebration of Ghana on 6 March 1964, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was at Kulangugu in the Upper East region of Ghana. Further, another assassination attempt was made on him, but again, he escaped. The bomb was placed inside the flowers to be presented to him by a 13-year-old girl called Elizabeth Asantua. Her leg had to be amputated to prevent the spread of the impact of the bomb explosion, an intervention that saved her life. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the five attempts that threatened the life of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah as the first president of the Republic of Ghana. And after all these attempts, Kwame Nkrumah was healed to be Nkrumah never dies. Indeed, Kwame Nkrumah's life tells us a lot about how for you to serve the world and also serve your country with selflessness. Upon all these things, he held on to develop and fight for Africans' unity. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the reasons why Dr. Kwame Nkrumah the Great, the first president of the Republic of Ghana, was held to be Nkrumah never dies. Kwame Nkrumah is a great man a man of hope, a man of choices, a man of decision. He really fought for Ghanaians and the entire African continent. But there is one thing that at times really bothers me a lot. Kwame Nkrumah's struggle to defend and protect Ghanaians and the African continent as a whole ended in a bad situation. Though he fought for the independence of Ghana, but he finally died in another man's land and this is really painful after all his struggling and all these attempts that were made to kill Kwame Nkrumah he finally ended up in another man's land 
and that is where he died, leaving the land that he fought for with all his strength and all his might behind, and resting in another man's land. And this is something that I know that the ancestors of this great land will never forgive Ghanaians. That a man who fought for the freedom of all Ghanaians and also decided to fight for the freedom of all Africans left his own homeland and died on another man's land. Kwame Nkrumah the Great, indeed, Nkrumah never dies. The man who lives forever, whose dreams and visions still live up to today. He is a great leader, a leader that indeed showed to be the great of all times. Kwame Nkrumah never dies. Asali for the Kwame Nkrumah, the great forever. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Smash the notification icon so you don't miss out on an update. Please and please, this is where we are going to end today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.